Welcome to the PA Career Links Employer FAQs Part 5. How to create a PA Career Link job posting. In this video, employers will learn what information is needed to create a job posting and how to utilize the employer dashboard widget to create a new or copy a previous job posting. To create a job posting, the employer must be a registered employer with the PA Career Link. And the point of contact creating the job posting must be an approved contact on the business folder. The following pieces of information are needed for the job posting details. Job title, job summary or description, minimum experience required in months or years, minimum education level, exact job site location address, Work shift, job type, legitimate salary per hour, weekly, monthly, or yearly, hours per week, commission information, number of openings, job posting main point of contact information, and follow-up instructions. To create a job posting, you will first need to log into your employer account. To log in, open your internet browser on your desktop, laptop, or mobile device and type www.pacareerlink.pa.gov into the address bar. This will load the Welcome to PA Career Link landing page. Then click the sign in link located in the upper right hand corner of the page. Enter your Keystone ID and password associated to your employer account that was created with your registration. Not registered? Click the register button and complete the steps to become a registered employer with us. Need more help? Watch our employer FAQs part one, how to register or call your local PA CareerLink office. Once logged in, the employer dashboard landing page will display. Here you will see various widgets for this demonstration. We will be utilizing the post a job widget. To learn more about the functions of the additional widgets, watch our employer FAQs part four, exploring your dashboard. Click the widget to open the job posting landing page. On this page, you can copy a previous job posting by selecting the drop down menu in the gray box located at the top of the page. Select the job posting you want to recreate and click the blue select button. This will pre-populate the information stored in the system with the ability to review and update if needed for each step. Click the Save and Continue button when review and editing is completed for each step. For this video, we will be creating a new job posting. To start a new job posting, all required fields need to be completed. The first step is collecting all the basic information. The job title, job summary, experience required, and education level. Click Save and Continue to proceed to the next step. Next, the job site details are needed. Note, if the job is remote, there is now an option to mark the remote job radio button, which will no longer require a job site address. If you are an employer where there are multiple job sites, List your main office location and note that the job site location varies in the job description in step one. This page also collects additional job details such as work shift, job type, salary, hours, and how many openings. The minimum salary will need to be entered and accurate, but the employer is able to mark no under display salary to individual to show the job seeker competitive salary. Click blue save and continue button when complete. 
Next, the contact details are needed. If the point of contact for the job posting you are creating is not automatically listed, click the Create a New Contact button or Change Contact button to select the correct point of contact. Answer all required questions and provide information on how you'd like the job seekers to apply. Click the Save and Continue button when completed. With each job posting, you will have the ability to create a questionnaire to assist with narrowing down prospective candidates. If you wish to add a questionnaire, click the radio button next to Yes, Build a New Questionnaire. If not, select the radio button next to Not Now. After making your selection, click the blue Save and Continue button. For building a questionnaire, you will first need to create a name. The questionnaire will be saved for later use with job postings in the future. After completing the title, click the blue plus question button to add questions. A Add Question Details pop-up will appear. Start by selecting the question type by clicking the drop-down and selecting either Multiple Choice, Multiple Answers, Multiple Choice, One Answer Only, or Essay Box. When choosing Multiple Choice, Multiple Answers, or One Answer Only, you will type the question text in the question text box, and then list out answer options, one on each line. When completed, click Save or Save and Add Another button. When selecting the Essay Box option, you will type in the question text in the question text box and leave the answer option box empty of text. Click Save and add another or Save button when completed. When clicking the Save and add another button, the system will save the current question and will refresh to a new Add Question Details pop-up. When clicking the Save button, the system will revert to the screening questionnaire page with the newly added question listed under the screening question section. If completed, click blue save and continue button. Continue to add any additional questions, but be mindful that questions will need to be related to the position and not discriminatory towards protected classes. Once completed, click the Save and Continue button to move to the next step. The job posting review page will display with an alert that a primary occupation is missing. Click the blue Edit button to select a primary occupation that matches the job description best. The system will auto-generate a few occupations based on keywords and the job title entered. If one matches your posting best, select the radio button under the Set as Primary Occupation column and click Save and Continue. If you do not see a good match, utilize the Add Another Occupation button and find the occupation that fits best. Then add that to the list. Mark the Set as Primary Occupation radio button and click Save and Continue. The system will take you back to the job posting review. Review the job posting and click the Submit for Approval button. In this example, the button says Submit, but when an employer completes the Create a Job Posting steps, it will say Submit for Review. Once the posting is submitted for review, the posting will go into a new status. This alerts PA Career Link staff that the posting is in need of review. 
PA CareerLink staff will review the information in the job posting for accuracy, EEO compliance, and will ensure any website links provided are in working order before approving. Once PA CareerLink staff approves the job posting, it will go into open status and job seekers will be able to review the information. If any information is missing, links are not working, or the job posting does not meet EEO compliance, the job posting will be rejected. If you feel a job posting is incorrectly marked rejected, feel free to call your local PA CareerLink office to discuss. This concludes our employer FAQs part five how to create a job posting. If you have additional questions or need support, please call your local PA CareerLink office. Not a registered employer? Watch our PA CareerLink Employer FAQ Part 1 How to Register. Thank you for watching and make sure to subscribe for more informational videos.